All right, guys, Johnny Rosario Reds. We are heading out to grab a collection. I say we because we have uh, Brian with us. You might recognize him from the last video. But we are driving down to Detroit, and we are going to be picking up a collection of vintage Star Wars. There's uh, some Robotech stuff, some Willow stuff. Uh, what else was there? I forget. There's a lot of cool stuff. But anyways, we're going to drive down there, check this thing out, and uh, we'll show you what we find. All right, guys, so here we have a collection. Um, it's a lot of vintage Star Wars stuff. We have a little bit of everything. We have Star Wars or some Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, this is newer. This is from, like, the, the 90s. So, Now, was this all stuff that you just had? This is all yours from your kid? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, I noticed there was a bunch of duplicates. Is that just the... Well, it, my dad had, 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 had found another set of this uh, or something. Yeah. Okay, cool. But, although, I had some of them, yeah. Yeah. Now, Brian here used to bite the heads off of his Star Wars, so they had duplicates of everything he said. Yeah. So you have some newer stuff. So this is like the modern. Well, not modern. It's still old. It's from the, the when it came out for the um, the new stuff in the '90s. You got the Ewok Village, and we'll take all this stuff out later, guys. I'll go through it, but just to kind of give you a an idea of what we have here. What are these just some uh, some novels and stuff like that. So cool. All right, I just want to give you guys a quick show of what we have, and then we'll uh, we'll go through some of this here in more detail. It, it just rained out, so we're trying not to take it out of the garage right now. All right, guys, so we got some of the stuff out to give you a little bit better of an idea of what we have. We have the um, Hoth base here. The, that's the mini one that comes with the little uh, pewter figures or lead. It might have been lead back then. Ewok Village and the uh, Ewok Battle Wagon. Fun fact, those are actually repurposed. The, the molds for these were actually used in the uh, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy. So this would have been Sherwood Forest. I think it was still called the Battle Wagon for, um, for the uh, Prince of Thieves show. But then we have the bandolier. It's missing its foam, but it's still cool. It's still cool to hang up. Here's a bunch of weapons and accessories. Cloud car, uh, armored snow speeder. We got the uh, land speeder. We got the X-wing here. We got the uh, transport. A couple more Hoth things. Slave ones in there. What else we got? We got some sheets. We got Brian here. Are you geeking out too? <laughs> so here's the yeah, here's the little mini uh, figures. That would go with the Hoth base. And then we have this, this is the other snow base here. That's one that would have the little robot on it. I forget the name of the robot, but uh, Century Droid, wasn't it, I think? And then here's all the figures. We'll go through all the figures in a little more detail later, guys. But all right, well, we're gonna get to a wheeling and dealing here and uh, see if we can buy all this awesome goodness. $3.27, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears. Yeah, look at this. We saw this driving by. This they have some cool stone stonery back there, right? What do you got? Lions and tigers, an elk, an elephant. I want to live there. <laughs> all right, guys. So we did the deal. Um, we're going home with all the wonderful plastic crack. I couldn't trade Brian. I was trying to trade Brian to the guy for the toys, but he did not want him, uh, which is sad. It's just he just must not know Brian as well as I do. But anyways, we're gonna hit the road. We're hitting the road, and uh, we're gonna go back and go through this stuff in a little better detail. I don't want to dump everything out. I was getting eaten by mosquitoes. Just rain, so doing this outside anywhere is gonna give you the mosquitoes. All right, guys, we finally made it back, back to civilization, sort of. Is it starting to rain? I don't think so. All right, we're going through the like, figures now. We're going through the figures and what we have. Um, we're gonna start, we started going through, I don't know why I started, didn't start videotaping earlier, but um, so here's what we have so far. We have, what's your favorite character so far? So we, far? So far we pulled out. Mm. Oh, I have to go over here. Probably have it. Yeah. Which one is that? Is that Frodo? This Frodo. So we got the Frodo. And this is from, um, what's the line for this? It's, uh, I can't remember the name of the company that made these things. I forget. Oh, I can't even remember. But yeah, there's both of them. Little hairy feet. Looks like your feet, man. With the hairy feet. Willow. Yeah, there's a bunch of the little willow figures in there. Okay. I willow, saw those in the willow pictures willow. he sent me. So we have Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. We got the, the map room there with a bunch of the accessories, which is pretty cool. We have two Indiana Jones. Unfortunately, like these typically have. Whoop, let me try to. Uh, whoa. My camera's all messed up, guys. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Alien? Yeah, it's alien. So typically, like I said, these uh, Indiana Jones guys, the thumbs are always broken on these things. So we have two of him. We have an alien that's a Kenner alien. It's pretty neat. We have some uh, Flash Gordon figures. These are the Mattel ones from, I believe these are from 1978, but you have Be the Beast Man here. More Willow, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of the Willow guys. Flash, then we have Ming. Then you have all the Willow figures. No, is this Willow? No, yeah, that's Willow that's too. Willow. Okay, yeah. 
So we have the, the Tonka Willow guys. You got old Val Kilmer there before he was Batman when he was cool. He's badass. He's cool. Yeah, I can't remember his name, um, but he's cool. We have this Batman uh, bubble gum, and guess what? They're still gumming it. It's sealed. How much we cost you, your favorite figure, to chew this gum? Okay. <laughs> well, that was way too easy. I'm not opening it. <laughs> but we did find this too, so. This is the uh, Batmobile, but it's actually, this is candy and it's full of the candy. Is there another one? Oh, that one's full that's, too? Or is that just the... That might be the wheels. That's the wheels. We got some candy in there. You want to try a piece? Oh, it's going to do it. Uh-oh. How old is this? You might die. Wait, hold on. 1991, so... How's it taste? Micro dot. Is it good? You can spit it out if it's no... <laughs> if you get botulism... Right, you need to say on camera that if you get botulism, I'm not held responsible or liable. Well, this might explain it. <laughs> it's hot out here, guys. Good. So, um, this is a matchbox, right? Yeah, that's just a, a car. Oh, yeah, you got... We got, what's his name, Klaatu. We have uh, some Secret Wars. We got Dr. Doom. We got some Batman and Robin action. We got some Robotech. So this here, this robot, I'm not familiar with this line. I don't, I don't know who it is or, or what this is supposed to be from. It says on the back, it's made in Taiwan, and it says Poppy is the brand. So if you guys know what that is, let me know. It's kind of hollow feeling. Really neat looking, though. You got the Chewbacca. So we have some Hoth uh, soldiers here. Did Fortuna. Do you remember seeing him in Mandalorian at the end? Yep. He's all fat and nasty. Yep. Looking like me, like all. Bleh, bleh, bleh. We got Admiral. Uh, I can't remember his name. He's, we got the what's that? Uh, Jedi nah, that's not the Jedi Leia. That's the uh, Endor Leia. She got the cloak little. though. She's little. She's smaller than everybody belt. else. We got the Endor Leia there. She still has her belt and cloak. We have Cloud City Guard, right? It's a Cloud City Guard. Or is that the best bin one? I always get the names confused on some of these things, guys. X-Wing, Snow Trooper. Pretty much everybody else is Star Wars. Yeah, I think everything else in there is Star Wars. Wait, wait, wait for it. There it is. Oh, there's my Gamorrean guard. He's actually in pretty good shape. I wonder if his axe is in here. Axe me later after I go through the rest of it. That was a good joke. Come on now. Yeah, C-3PO. So I asked, um, I don't know if you guys could hear or not, um, but he said he had a bunch of different Duplicates, I guess his dad picked up a collection, what he said, like a Goodwill or a thrift store or something yep. at some point. So that's why there's multiples of each. We got a couple Ben Kenobis. We got three of them in here. Lando with the helmet. We got three Ben Kenobis. Where's he at? Helmet Lando? Where? Oh, yeah. The one from the, the Skiff Guard. We got Anakin. No, that's Anakin, no? Yes. Is it? I, can't, I always get him and Uncle, not Uncle Ben. <laughs> His uncle, what's Luke's uncle name? I can't remember. That's Anakin, I think. All right. Got Squid Face. Still has a cloak. Vader. We got Greedo. Han shot first. We got uh, some dirty Han Solo here. A lot of this stuff is dirty. It's going to have to be cleaned up. But again, I mean, this stuff's been well loved and played with. So we got a couple of, we got Luke here. We got Bosk. Hey Eli, I know you like the bounty hunters. We got Bosk. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of Star Wars. I want to say, I think I counted them all. It was like 87 Star Wars figures. Got Dengar. Got Han. There's what, three Jawas I think we found? So we, got, we have enough Jawas. We can strip a vehicle and get it out of there in record time. We got the two sensor scope R2s with their sensor scope still. We got the speeder bike. It's missing the handles, but it still explodes. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. So we got the, the medical droid, and he still has his mouthpiece, which that's normally missing, which is nice to have that. An IG-88, right? I always get the number part mixed up on him. We got a Tusken Raider. There's two Boba Fetts. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Where? Right here. <laughs> yeah, right. We got the... Be nice to have the missile shooting Boba Fett. It's in pretty decent shape. A little cleaning, a little water, and a little uh, soap will clean him right up. Zuckus, all right. 
Yep. Han and Leia. Perfect couple. Yeah, look at that couple. Oh, lovebirds. Get the Emperor. That Yoda, he's missing his cloak. He looks weird when he's in his pajamas without his cloak. What's his name? Reese's? Reese's? What's his name? Uh, some of these alien names, guys. I know I should know all these, but sometimes I just, uh, they slip my mind. You got the Imperial Guard. Oh, this one's missing his, uh, his loincloth. The other one in there had it. We got a big head Han Solo. The Gunner. Oh, what was his name? Ugly dude. We got Luke. Who's that guy? It's one of the guys from Endor, I think. I can't remember his name. We got this droid. He's missing his hand. Or his claw that would be on there. It's a trap! Every time I find this figure, I do that. And my impression <laughs> is probably way off on Admiral Akbar, but there it is anyways. Got another Leia. Yoda. Another uh, Lando. I can't remember his name. He's got the little pouch he carries around. Two more Tusken Raiders. Yeah. Another Royal or, uh, Crimson Very Guard. Good. Another Ewok. Yeah, look at yeah. We've got a couple cloud car pilots because everyone all, needs two all of them. The Is there all, all of them in there? Wall space. WJ. Oh wait, what's this? What's that go to? They go to the speeder bike? Yeah, that's one of the panels for the back of the speeder bike. Alright, sweet, so we got that. And I think I showed you the rest of these. This goes with the Robotech stuff. Oh, did I show you all the Robotech guys? There's a couple more Robotech figures in here. That one's got, looks like he uh, he had an accident, that one there. It looks like it's probably some kind of plastic melted to it, which happens a lot. Show the Gordon. Uh, yeah, show the Flash Gordon stuff there. How's your stomach feeling from that uh, candy? Fine. <laughs> so we got the speeder bike, missing the handlebars, got the tauntauns, and you guys saw all the big stuff we had out. Um, so yeah, there's all the actual figures that we have. We got little Ewoks here, we got Wicket. And we do have the bag of weapons and stuff. Um, Let's pull out. Should I pull out the rest of those vehicles and stuff? Let's do that. Let's show everybody everything we got. Let's do it. All right. I wish it was a little bit colder today like that because it is swampy out here right now. But here's the other stuff that was in the box. I know I showed you guys the battle wagon, the Ewok village, um, some of this stuff up here we've already seen. But So we have the uh, Hoth base with the little sensor droid or the droid there. The uh, still works, still turns. It's falling off. He's not hooked on there very well, but... We have Slave 1, which is complete with the uh, Han and Carbonite. We have the canopy. We have the back there, the back tray, the wings. A little dirty, but nothing a little uh, soap and water won't clean up. We have the other base here, Hoth base. Ah, I don't think I have that on there right because it's not knocking over, but it's supposed to fall. Um, we have, uh, I can't remember what that goes. That goes to one of these, doesn't it? I don't know, guys. Some of this stuff I'm not 100% on still. Now this thing, doesn't this look like that's his flying cousin? Right? I think so. There you go. All right, let's do it. I'm going to cross this bridge. Oh, no. Didn't give it enough kick. Everybody got to do that, too. No, no that's, that, that, that's for that, yeah. There you go. Yeah, well. Just needs a little spring action. Little, needs a little there loving, it but. There it is. Now right, we're going to get this to explode. We're going to blow this bridge up. All right, let's do it. All right, there we go. I saw you bump the truck. <laughs> so we have another Tauntaun here. This one's uh, actually in nicer shape. He has his um, saddle. No open belly Tauntauns in this collection. We have this cannon. This was in the uh, Mandalorian. We have the Dewback. The armored transport uh, shuttle thing there. And we have some of the weapons in here. We have the uh, C-3PO that comes apart. Yeah, we have a bunch of the different weapons. We got some Ewok weapons, some blasters and whatnot. We got the cloud car. Looks like it's all right. It's missing the uh, sticker there, but it's got both the canopies, which is nice. With the armored transport here. The one gun's broken, but still, you could tell these toys were played with and well loved. Oh, I broke it. Just like that. <laughs> you break it, you buy it, Smurf boy. I <laughs> oh, got yeah, the armored so sweet. We showed you that. And then these, these here are sweet. These are cool. We got the ATST. Here, you want to unfurl this and we can show everybody. We have the Star Wars twin bed set. This is actually in really nice shape. It doesn't look like it's been washed. So it's either really, really dirty and never been cleaned. 
which is probably not the case. I think it doesn't doesn't smell bad. Same on both sides. Yeah, it's the same on both sides. But you have um, the sheet and then the fitted sheet. So we have that. That's really cool. And then we have one more box to go through. We're gonna pull out that last box and show you guys what's inside. But we have to first pack away all this fun fun stuff. We might play for a little bit. So yeah, we gotta we gotta try to blow that bridge up on the first try. All right, so here's the last bin, guys. As you can see, Brian had to go home. But um, I don't think it was from the candy. I, I don't believe he ate that thing. That's disgusting, but you are a uh, braver man than I. So we have the uh, Darth Vader case. There's no figures in it. But we have the, uh, the classic Darth Vader case there. And then we have, next up, we have a Winnie the Pooh record uh, book there. We have the Return of the Jedi. Battle at the Sarlacc Pit game, which features a 3D sail barge and Star Wars figures, for those of you who did not know. And we have this. It's a, I guess it's an RPG. I'm not really familiar with this, but a Lord of the Rings role-playing game. So I'll have to go through that and make sure this thing is complete. It's pretty neat art on the front, though. It was $13 used at Hot Shots. Not sure where that's at. And then we have the official movie souvenir magazine from the best Batman, in my opinion. Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson. Awesome movie. Then we got the old uh, Batman here. This thing was on clearance. It used to be $3.99. Oh, no, I guess it started off $4.95. Went to $3.99. Well, I guess it went down to $3.99. Was crossed off to 3 bucks. Best self-service. Isn't that like a hardware store? I'm not sure. Then we got the Uncanny X-Men Toy Biz 2nd Edition Wolverine with the spring-out claws, which, fun fact, they had to curve those so kids wouldn't poke their eyeballs out. We have Catwoman here from Batman Returns. All Michelle Pfeiffer. And Robin. So then next up, we have the uh, R2-D2 C-3PO's Talking Star Wars Clock. Now I'm going to have to throw a battery in this thing and see if it works. Um, try giving it, a, giving it a wind and see if it works. I tried winding it up there. It, it winds, I don't hear a ticking noise, so I don't know if it actually worked or not still. I don't think, uh, I'll have to mess around with it a little bit, but it doesn't tick or do anything when I pull that, so, unfortunately. Oh, these are in here. There's no video games, but we do have a uh, Super Mario and uh, Super Star Wars instruction booklet for Super Nintendo. I don't think I have either of those games, so um, if you're missing those to complete yours, let me know. I'll get those listed here shortly. Then we have another Star Wars. Well, this one's Star Wars. The other one's Winnie the Pooh. But a Star Wars uh, read along with the record. And Empire Strikes Back. Um... Okay, that's uh, his diploma, so I'm going to have to get that back to him. Oh, that goes with the Ewoks, I believe. Alright, so we have a uh, Darth Cast uh, Darth Vader keychain and a Die Cast C-3PO keychain. Those are from the newer um, movies. When these came out in the 90s, yeah. 96. Pretty neat. I am not sure what this is. Um, it's his illustrations. I can't read uh, Japanese. I'm assuming that's Japanese. Oh, I guess it's... Um, Haru I'm not even going to try, guys. His illustrations. All right. And uh, last but not least here, we have some Robotech VHS. And uh, we got what? Warriors of the Wind. I'm not sure what that is. Clash of the Bionoids. Bionoids. Haven't watched that show either. Funny story though, today um, we're dri I was driving to pick my kids up, it's around, so I was driving to pick my kids up from my parents' house, they were watching the kids today, and I noticed that my neighbor, my parents' neighbor rather, had a bunch of stuff out, I guess the, the gentleman who lived there passed away a couple years ago and the family is now just starting to clear out the house, and there was a bunch of TVs on the curb, well one of them was a little teeny, uh, like probably like what, 12 inch, 10 inch TV with a built in VCR, I was like, I need a TV with a VCR to test all these VHS tapes, I have a VCR and a TV, but this is cumbersome and hard to get to. Um, and pull out every time I need to test it, but this thing has a built-in VCR. I'm like, D. She's like, what? It's like, grab that TV off. Of th it's in the trash. You grab that TV. She's like, it probably doesn't work. I was like, there's four TVs out there. They're just getting rid of these things. Just grab it. If it doesn't work, we'll throw it in the trash at our house. She's like, I'm not going to dig through the trash. I was like, it's on your side of the car. Just jump out, grab it, throw it in the truck. It's on the curb. She's all embarrassed. She goes, what's well, on your side of the truck? Because she thought I was going to back up and go back to the house. 
I was like, no, no, I'm driving around the block. So just grab it through the window. So it was right there at the edge of the road. But uh, she's like, I don't think I can grab it through the window. So I pull up and stop. She jumps out and she starts to get, she's like, oh, look at this lamp. Oh, look at this. There's all kinds of stuff there. So like, just grab the TV. We don't need a lamp. It was like a lamp, like this naked boy, like holding up the lamp. It was, it was hideous. But uh, we ended up grabbing the uh, TV and the VCR. So now I have something that I could test all these wonderful VHS tapes on without having to pull out a VCR and hook it up to my TV. It was meant to be, D. Thank you, Red, for grabbing that for me. Hopefully it works. I'll test it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, share with your friends, all that stuff, and we will catch you on the next one. Sarge out. For real.